All right, McNair, hey, there is the, uh, the front of the building. So I'm, I'm gonna start over here on the far left-hand corner of where it looks like Monster's storage property is. We've got this shrub bed here, you know, which will need the mulch. We've sprayed those weeds, but we'll get those up tomorrow. We'll chop them up. Uh, but it looks like probably there to that foam pole is what's with monsters storage based on where the pavement is. And then I met your guy last week here on site and we talked about doing the rock in between the building where there's just gonna be a ton of water coming off there. And it's gonna be really hard for mulch to stay or even turf grass to be planted. So we're gonna do like a, a dry riverbed stream up through there and then put rocks on the kind of the side of that embankment and then pine straw or mulch up above it. But we'll get all this debris off of the, uh, the curb tomorrow as well. And all the pavement will be blown off. We've sprayed this last week too, but like I said, it takes Roundup, you know, seven to 10 days to turn, but we'll hit it again. This will need to be remulched and we'll get all the debris off the curb. Same thing here with this shrub bed. It's been sprayed, just hasn't died yet. But with these mulch beds, we probably need to put a little trench there to keep the mulch inside the bed where they don't spill out over top of the curb. With the front, we went ahead and pulled out the two dead green arborvitaes. You still got the two tall ones there in the middle, but there was one right in front of that gutter that we dug up and then one in front of this gutter here. The drip irrigation is still on. As you can see, that's why a lot of this water is coming out here. Along the edge of the shrub bed, it's wet. So we're gonna turn that off. They are located on an outside spigot and they're labeled for that. Also, I need to know where the irrigation controller is inside for the turf grass, but we're gonna turn those off. These plants are just getting too much water. They need to actually have like a uh, battery operated timer on them. The same with this island needs to be remulched, but we need to scoop some of that sand out. Uh, the mulch is just going to keep washing over the curb if we don't lower that a little bit. We can do that with our little dingo. And as you can see, some of those weeds are starting to die. I don't know what to do with the, uh, the dumpster doors there. We painted those probably about six months ago. We'll clean these curbs up put a nice crisp edge along the edge to hold the mulch back. In the front here, we got all the weeds out, hand pulled those. It'd be uh, really neat there to do some type of planting or you know, even a kid's playground maybe, something really cool there. But we'll clean these curbs up. This is your backflow for the irrigation system. Um, and it is on, so you got the two separate meters. You do want to do some type of rock because you've got water coming off that roof there that pours out of that opening and it splashes right here. So I would do some type of uh, stone so that that doesn't wash and that'll keep it from staining. And then we can put a pressure washer on that. We we'll need to back the truck up. Put the ladder in the, build, in the bed of the truck. Same thing right here. You've got the water coming off. Hey guys. How we doing? Good, how y'all? All right, all right. But we've sprayed in there, in those shrub beds, 
and we'll do that again and we'll mow tomorrow. And you're starting to get a lot of plants dying. I think because they're getting too much water. But there's your two irrigation control valves that we need to have access to the controller inside. These shrubs, do you want us to replace them or do you want to see if they are covered under warranty from the GC? But we had talked with uh, your guy last week, talked about spraying uh, the turf grass out because it's all weeds. Most builders, they go ahead and sow with rye grass, you know, just erosion control seed and just to get things up. So we recommend doing that, get some of that straw up because September is the ideal time to plug and seed. We're gonna get a great stand of grass if we can wait till September uh, to put the plug in and seed on it. So we've got time to, to go ahead and spray and get rid of this weeds that it is, that's in the turf areas now. But as you can see, we do need that fresh mulch applied. That's the bad thing about mulch. That's why I love pine needles more so than I do mulch. Pine straw holds their color a lot longer than mulch, but I'll leave that up to you guys. These are two drains right here that we're going to uh, rake around and pull the, the screen up. And we'll take care of this scrubbery right here as we call it. That's just some silt fence and stuff there to keep it from washing. Same thing with the shrub bed, weed it need the new mulch or pine straw. These trees, we're gonna come in and cut some of the lower limbs and then mow back here up against the wall and get a really nice stand of grass here for you. Again, this is all rye grass. So the heat is what's killing it. We plug it, seed it, Throw a little extra dirt out where we need to. We'll get a good stand of grass. We'll repair that damage there. Again, raise some of these tree limbs up. And the bad thing about this rye mixture, crabgrass that you see, a lot of that's the crabgrass that's coming up. And it grows a whole lot quicker than regular fescue. So that's why, even though it was mowed last week, it's looking a little shabby. But we're walking to the back corner of where we started. With this tree, we're gonna cut this water sprout out that started years ago, probably in the nursery, and kinda limb that up and shape it up. And here is where we'd wanna start that rock bed running down with some mulch on the side. And then clean all this up. I'm sure public utilities here uh, sprayed and killed the pine and stuff under it so it doesn't grow up underneath the power lines. But there's the property line, kind of clean it up to there, put some mulch and get a good stand of grass here alongside the road. So anyway, if there's any questions, let me know.